Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman and I have a very special guest today. And I'm really excited about uh, what we're going to hear about today. Well, you know, Art, you shouldn't be excited because we got something free to offer our viewers. Free! Free! <laughs> everybody loves free, don't they? So as everybody knows, we have um, uh, 10 experts that we present on Celebrating Act 2 on a pretty regular basis, mm -hmm. all kinds of topics. But one of the most popular is our dog trainer, Sarah Surrett. She's really a uh, animal behavior expert and a, an animal training expert. And of course, she's got horses and goats and pigs and whatever, but her business is Get Positive, and it's a, it specializes in training dogs, puppies. So uh, she's offering a free workshop, and we're here to tell people about it because anytime you can get a free workshop from Get Positive, it's a big deal. So, so let's wait, bring it, Sarah it, it, on. Time, time for us to get out of the way and get Sarah on. <laughs> Good idea. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. Good to be here. So you got a free workshop. What is the workshop about? Well, one of the, the biggest complaints I hear new pet owners or pet owners in general get frustrated with is when their dog doesn't listen when they're calling them to come. And yeah, so like all the time. Yeah, so the, the workshop is all about teaching a reliable recall so that your dog will come and listen when you call them. Okay, so recall is the word you use for um, uh, basically getting your dog's attention. So is it as simple as uh, we have our dog's name is Pip. Uh, I yell, Pippy, and, you know, hopefully he will turn around and come, but he, he doesn't <laughs> always do that. Is that, that's a recall, right? Yeah, exactly. And there are different, there's different methods on how to improve that, um, you know, because Pippi means a lot of different things, I'm sure, to him. And it doesn't always mean come. It means, you know, keep barking at that fence or, you know, so there's different <laughs> things that we can do to improve it. And yeah, recall is we're recalling our dogs back to us. So it's a, it's a term, I guess, for yeah. come, come when called. Yep. Well, it's a that's a having had a number of dogs over the years. Aren't you have have you ever had dogs? Uh, yeah, I had um, a Tuffy when I was a little boy, and we um, a white haired terrier. And uh, probably our most famous dog was Rudy, spelled uh, H R U D E Y, named after the gold tender for uh, the uh, Islanders, and then eventually the Kings, a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we don't currently have a dog, but uh, it's always nice to have a dog that pays attention and is respectful and doesn't bite people and stuff like that. And I know that Sarah's really good at that, but yeah. you know, the, the interesting, really interesting thing is that in this workshop, and maybe you can talk a little bit about how it operates, is that, uh, you know, we're used to speaking, thinking about uh, going to a a, a, a school where you bring your, your, your puppy or your dog in and you're sitting with uh, somebody like yourself. And there are, unfortunately, too few of you around the country. But this seems that you would be able to help somebody no matter where they lived uh, uh, by providing this information on an yeah. uh, online workshop. Is that how this is going to work? Yeah, online. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, long before COVID, I've been doing uh, training and supporting pet parents virtually. And there are so many, I think there's a, there's a stigma around it. Like parents think, oh, you know, I need, I need that in person. Um, however, it's a really fabulous way to empower the pet trainer to be, um, become a trainer, right? And to really build that relationship and have accountability to learn what they need to learn and practice. Um, with their dog without that dependency. And and the coaching is is a really great way um, to help clients build that confidence virtually. It, it saves time, to be honest. And and it allows, you know, the pet owner to train in the comfort of their own home. And that's really where training starts anyways, because you're dealing with 
less distractions overall for the dog to, to be learning and taking things in. Um, the moment you step out the door, you're dealing with a lot of sounds and smells and environmental changes. So it's a great place to start. It really does reduce the distractions and allow for, for more focus and connectivity with the dog when training. So Now, Sarah, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but in a, in a very real sense, you are training the owners to train their dog. We all know and that. So <laughs> the bond between trainer and dog really is theirs, not yours. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I can come in and, and show them exactly what's done, but sometimes there's even a level of frustration that the dog isn't doing it for them. So it's nice to take, to still have me there virtually to coach and guide, but not, yeah. uh, not quote to take over where the dog is like, oh yeah, you're, cause I have no history with the dog. Everything is positive with me. Right. So of course, they're they're eager to learn and to work, but having that clarity of the dog building that bond even stronger with the owner, I think, is is so yeah. important. And and let, let's face it, the yes, we're teaching you, right? We're it's the owners that need to learn what to change, what to tweak, how to how to adjust, how to slow down, how to speed up. Yeah, so. and, and and you don't have to be physically in the room. You just uh, you have the. the the owner, let's say I had a new puppy or something like that, I have the comfort of having you there as my coach. You don't have to be in the room. As long as you're there to say, no art, a little bit of patience, okay? And this is, you don't know, just keep stuffing food down the, the, the puppy's mouth, but this is how it should happen and things like that. So that I still have that comfort level as if I had you in my room. Yeah. I've got, um, I've got a, a bunch more questions for you, Sarah, but before we get too much further, um, let's put up the link to your um, workshop yeah, and what um, tell, tell us what people need to do. They just click on the link and, and what? Yeah, they're going to follow this link and, and basically you just put your name and your email in so you can get all of the information, the reminders, where to go, um, when it's happening, um, and, and extra tips and, and follow-ups after uh, the workshop's done. So you just simply follow that um, and it should have plenty of information for you. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to email me directly, uh, support at getpositive.com. Yeah. Now this, this particular webinar is August 24th and it's a one-time only um, training session workshop, correct? And it's free. And it's about um, the recall, just that, one aspect of dog training <clears throat> it is, is actually that, do i have that all right yes it's actually thursday august 25th at 9 a.m pacific oh okay thank you <clears throat> yes and um yeah and we'll be we'll be talking all about um you know why your dog isn't coming and, and what you can start to do now to change that pattern and how you can manage better um, and really discussing that number one non-negotiable rule that you got to commit to, um, to really build a, an interest in your dog wanting to come every time you call them. Um, and, and there's a lot of other tips for safety and things that I'll go over as well. It'll be a, a chock full, you know, one hour, probably 60 to 90 minutes. You know, I love yeah. to talk, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, well, that's good. I'm, th I'm glad you I got the date correct there. Um, y y what I wanted to say was that um, your, your um, videos that you do for Celebrating Act 2 are very popular, and they're different than a workshop. This is why I'm so excited about your workshop, because your videos are you basically sharing some really valuable tips on how to train your dog. I just let me read a couple that we've done recently. Um, how to make your dog focus on you about jumping up, um, the three second rule, which you'd have to watch the video to know what that is, uh, tricks about slow feeding, things like that. So these are all wonderful videos. They're nice and short, they're concise, but what they don't have is they don't have that example of now you do it and let me watch while you train your dog, kind of that supervision, if you will, that they're gonna get on this workshop, on this virtual workshop, because it's live streaming. 
Yeah, and so this particular, just to clarify, this particular workshop is not me actually coaching live students with their dogs. This is more of an information uh, sharing, so to speak, about the importance of 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 teaching a recall and the things that they can start to take action on uh, there'll probably be a workbook of some sort so they can start to track and and give some uh clarity to themselves of where they're at and where they want to be um but uh, definitely some actionable items that they can begin to take when we finish that call to work with their dogs and of course you know we have a monthly support um the positive training club um, a support group that they are would love for everybody to come join us to get more hands on and coaching thereafter with right. um, with their dogs. Yeah, I, I can I, I can see that the monthly coaching club. Um, would, would, what do you call it? The positive. The positive oh. training club. Yeah. Uh, I can see the value in doing this on a regular basis uh, because one of the things you can't do is just tell the dog to sit, you know, and, and he sits and you think it's all done. Oh, no, <laughs> you have to, it's very, you have to be consistent and continuous with your training with the dog. So well, I, have um, to tell you, I have to tell you that I, for our audience, for our audience, um, uh, if you go to our YouTube channel, there's a playlist of uh, all of uh, Sarah's uh, uh, work that all the videos that she's done. I think we have 50 right. or 60 of them up there uh, by now. And uh, uh, I've, even though I don't currently have a, a pet or a dog, uh, I may actually sign up and invite my wife to sit with me because she's been looking for a way to teach me how to heal. Uh, <laughs> and and she may sign up on a regular basis and give me some doggy treats. Yes. Uh, I could if like only that. our dogs, if only our dogs could do our honeydew list for us, that yeah. would be great. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever motivates you, Art. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> Kibble, kibble. I think I'm into my kibble uh, period. <laughs> now, Sarah, one last question for you before we go. Your website is getpositive.com. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So getpositive.com is where they anybody can reach you at any time about any of your uh, in-person training programs or your virtual training pro coaching programs. And, um, of course, they're celebrating Act 2, where they can read, they can watch all your uh, pre-recorded tips. So Absolutely. that's terrific. How often do you do these kinds of workshops? Um, well, they vary. So just kind of depends on what my schedule is. But typically, um, at least quarterly, they'll be coming out. Yeah. But meanwhile, people should join your regular monthly uh, program. Absolutely. So that's yeah. where all the magic happens. <laughs> yeah. What is uh, now? Is there a um, it, you gave me the name for the monthly program? What's it called again? The Positive Training Club. And that is also on our website, um, accessible under our online training programs. Yeah. Yes. The Positive Training Club. I love that. It's a club. So it's a, a lot of uh, camaraderie. To yeah. yeah. We have a good time in there. <laughs> good. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to uh, share this free uh, uh, workshop with our viewers. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to share it. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.